Nicholas uh, Mota is slated to go down against Camber and Van Camp. And uh, I got to say that uh, Mota is pretty much high level fighter, 12 for all, 5 foot 9, 17 inches of reach, a great lightweight, loss to Jim Miller, very right hook to ground and strikes. He outrug Joseph Lowry at CFFC, he used to be very, very great, but against Jim Miller it was pretty much a surprising loss and uh, I think he hasn't showed his real face. On the other side, uh, Cameron Van Camp lost to Andre Fiado via left hook, so both of the fighters are looking to get back into the winning column. Van Camp is 6 foot 2, 74 inches of reach, which means uh, Mota is uh, going to have uh, to deal with uh, significant reach disadvantage. 4 inches of reach disadvantage, that is guy fighting out of Lebanon, Indiana. He was better than Kini Gadov, also lost, uh, also defeated Havre Sian, Craig Eckelberg, Dan Stitkin. Dan Stitkin is a former uh, UFC guy who lost to Wonderboy Thompson, but also Van Camp lost to Bobby Walker. I just think uh, this is too high level competition for him. He also lost to Austin Hubbard. I mean, every single time he was fighting a high profile fighter, Cameron Van Camp was having a hard time, so I do have a feeling this fight will not last for long as both fighters are looking to get back into the winning column. And both fighters won this victory badly. I predict a banger, you know, when you wish the victory, you will try to go for a knockout right off the bat. And uh, Van Camp was fighting very aggressively against Fiado, which just proves that he is ready for kill or be killed mode. On the other side, Mota, Mota made a big mistake against Jim Miller, which cost him a victory, so... Yeah, I'm gonna say the fight will not go the distance. If I must pick a side, I'm gonna go Mota.